Wow, guys, leftover crispy pork belly stir fry in silk squash and onions. Guys, you gotta try this recipe. Wow. Continue watching to make some of this easy, delicious stir fry with crispy pork belly. Hi everyone, welcome back to Cantonese Food Recipes. Today I'm be showing you guys how to do a quick uh, stir fry with some soaked squash and onions and with some leftover crispy pork belly that we made the other day. And you can check that video out on our channel. So let's get cooking. Okay guys, so for this recipe, I'll show you some ingredients. This is a leftover uh, crispy pork belly over here. We also got some silk squash over here that are cut into slices like this. You can check. And then lastly we also just got a uh, two chopped up onions over here and four cloves of garlic that I chopped up over here. So let's start the recipe. Very simple and easy. First um, here on my pan, I'm boiling up some water. I'm first going to boil the silk squash to make it a bit soft for about just boil it for about three minutes and then I'll strain it and then we can start the stir fry. Okay, guys, so I just dropped, uh, I strained the silk squash over here. Just pop it in for one minute or two, strained it. Okay, let's start cooking. Okay. Let's heat up our frying pan first. Make sure it's hot so that uh, none of the soup squash and the onions will stick to the pan. Okay, the pan is hot. You can just put your hand over the pan and you can feel it's hot. I'm gonna put in some olive oil. You can use your cooking oil if you like, but we use olive oil because it's more healthier. Okay. We'll rinse it around the pan here. Okay, first we're going to cook our garlic and fry the garlic a bit. Turn down the heat or else the garlic will cook very fast. Make the pan smell good with the garlic. Use the garlic uh, with the olive oil here. Okay, once you smell that aroma, we can dump in our onions here. Now we can turn up the heat. Turn it up to 180 degrees. Five. And I also dumped in my crispy pork belly, the leftovers. Okay, now we can use the pork belly to fry our soup squash. Okay, once you see the pork belly fry, you can just put your hand over the pan and then put your hand into the pan. Okay, once you see the pork belly fry, you can just put your hand over the pan. Okay, now we can throw in our soap squash. The soap squash contains a lot of water content. So this dish won't burn. The water content of the soap squash will start to pop out of this dish here. If you're in a Chinese restaurant, they will first uh, if there's a quick deep fry, and then they will start doing the stir fry. But this is like a healthy home meal, so we don't do that here. Just stir fry this on high heat. We'll stir fry this a little bit and then uh, we'll add in our sauces and flavor in this. Okay. So while it's on high heat, let me add in some salt. Just give a quick sprinkle of salt. 
doesn't need too much. A quick sprinkle of uh, white paper. And then uh, just a small teaspoon of sugar. Then yeah, then we will stir fry that first. High heat, guys, on high heat. You see the, the silk squash, is, the, the water content of the silk squash is starting to pop out. That's why when we when we boiled it, uh, we just boiled it for about a minute. Mm, I can already smell the flavors coming out. Okay, let's add in some sauces. Okay, first I'm going to drizzle a bit of oyster sauce, just all around, just a little bit. Looks like about one and a half or two teaspoons here. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of soy sauce, just a little quick drizzle. Soy sauce is salty so you don't need too much. Then you also got to drizzle a little bit of sesame oil all around, just a little bit. And finally, a touch of Chinese rice wine. Now it's on high heat, guys, so stir fry all these ingredients together and then we can plate this. Very simple, delicious, tasty recipe. Guys uh, said in my previous videos I should taste my dishes, so after I take this, I'm just gonna try it out and let you guys know what it tastes like. If it's really good, I'll tell you guys the honest truth of what I did. So yeah, I won't lie to you guys. Okay, let me take this. It's totally ready. Guys, uh, let's take this. Dish. Okay, nice. Okay, guys, let me show you the final result. Check out that. Quick stir fry crispy pork belly here guys oh, check at that yummy crispy pork belly stir fry leftovers crispy pork belly that you made the previous day oh yeah tasty okay guys so let me taste my dish like you guys said I must taste let me just taste the onion here Mmm, so squash. Mmm, the plate is hot, guys. Mmm, just a little bit of sauces and salt and pepper makes a good stir fry, guys. Let me just taste this uh, crispy pork belly. Mmm, all the onion flavor and the silk squash flavors. Soaked into the crispy pork belly, guys, on the stir fry. Very tasty, guys. Guys, you must taste this. You can make it with any of your leftover foods, like your chicken, you know. Guys, if you like my recipes, please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, guys, for watching.